Heavy rainfall may damper outdoor plans, but it gives customers a chance to see KC Water's smart sewer projects in action. For example, this photo shows just how much rainwater was captured at the Trolley Trail Basin, water that most likely would have overflowed from a combined sewer system into waterways. So with this new uh, basin that we have here, that excess stormwater will come into here. The Trolley Trail Basin project was designed to capture combined sewer overflows. It gradually releases the stored stormwater and wastewater back into the sewer system 24 hours after a storm ends. Construction started in 2019 and ended in June of 2021. So far, with the exception of some minor adjustments, the basin is doing exactly what it's supposed to do, Our says sewer Smart Sewer Division head Brian Hess. Uh, that three million gallons, otherwise, if that project was not there, could overflow into the creeks and, and eventually to our downstream waterways. How does the basin know when to release the overflow? There are sensors inside the pipes. What will happen is there's some gates that close the storage basin, fills up to a certain point, and then once the levels in the downstream system um, are clear or, or to a point where the flow can go back in, then the gates open and it goes back into our sewer system downstream. KC Water and KC Parks also resurfaced and widened the walking trail in South Oak Park and added a connecting trail from the park to the trolley track trail at 83rd and Oak Street. They also added two pedestrian bridges. Additionally, more than 51,000 tons of buried trash were removed from an abandoned landfill that exists underneath part of South Oak Park. Residents can now enjoy a cleaner creek and a beautiful trail.